What's up? Welcome back for another 2 minutes tips and tricks video. Probably seen this banning artifact on a true face sequence. However, today I'm going to show you going from this to this in a very easy approach. So you know the deal. Let's go to the scan and I'll show you. Alright, we are live at uh, 1.5 Tesla and I let the countdown of 2 minutes begin. So in front of you here, yeah, I'm, uh, I have a localizer here and uh, just a 2D true fist coronal with a few slices over the liver just to see the banding artifact. So what we do here now, we just gonna apply for this one. Okay, so you have the images right there. Let's just check that one. You see there at the top here, got this banding artifact and in the corner as well. This one is really bothering me. So let's try to modify the sequence right here. We go to sequence. Um, card part two and down there you have something called trophy delta frequency what you do here is that you're not removing the artifact you just shift it away from your area of interest so this is a large range here minus 300 till 300 so let's try to say minus 50 test that one just gonna write minus 50 hertz here so we know So that's the new one in the middle there. The artifact is still around. Okay. So let's do another one here now. And we're going to try 100 hertz. So that's the new one. Seems like the artifact is shifted away. But let's go into the viewing and check it, compare it. So the first one is uh, frequency delta zero, then you have minus 50, and then you have 100. So in this case, 100 hertz did work, as you see there. Okay, my time is up, and uh, that's it. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. Before we close up, I do have a question for you. Did you know about this approach, how to avoid a banning artifact? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. Do not forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell. Until next time, I'll catch up with you. Peace out.